so tired. Anybody here yet? I'll see anybody, but y'all end up coming like all at once. Hi, Aaron, Angel, Nathan. Hi, Lane. I love Lane. Hey, girl, Lane. Hey, Celeste. Hey, YouTube Nightmare, Jazzy. Hey, Q I was going to call you Cuban. Hey, Ice Cube Canadian. What's up, tall? Hey, Marianne and Whitney and Chrysalis. I have good updates. Good, good, good updates. Hi, Commander. Commander, I've gotten your stuff. I will get back to you. I will. Um, and tall, I, I don't know if you got my DM. I'd like to try to do our interview next week. So I want to hold off a little bit. It has nothing to do with you. It has to do with my schedule, if that's cool. Um, hi, Lady Helga. Hi, guys. I No, I have awesome, awesome, awesome news. For, for me, it's awesome. Probably not a big deal anybody else. But I'm, and, and by the way, I have roommate. He's, oh, hi, Chris. He says, hi, hey, beautiful. Hi, Chris. What's up, Alex? Alex. Alex has been so sweet. I, uh, I sent Alex stuff. I am Sam. I am. Thank you for the 50 bars. You guys don't have to give me anything. Lane says you look so pretty right now. Thank you, Lane. Maybe it's because I'm happy. <laughs> so, hi, Laura B and Lydia, gaming girl. Hey, Tay, Acadia, or Stadia. Hi, Erica. Um, Nexo, Cassie's Lane, Silver. Cheshire, hey, girl. Cheshire, you keep making me laugh. <laughs> like, you consistently make me laugh throughout my day, girl. Um, D Portis, you look be all. Oh, thank Everybody says they look pretty. Thank you, guys. It might be the angle because it's maybe angled down a little bit. Can't see so much my fat chin. I don't know. Alana, ah, ah, ah. thank you for the four hundred. <laughs> like saying your name. Uh, and I'm, guys, I'm really tired, so I, I'm, might, I'm probably gonna curb out here soon. You look so pretty because you seem happy. Maybe that's what I think. Maybe it is. You look worse. Thank you. It also might be I don't get out, and I had to get out a little bit to get stuff done, and it's like that was enough to get some sun on my face. <laughs> Ruth, thank you for the fifty bars. Y'all save your bars. I appreciate y'all, but y'all save it. Save your stuff. I love y'all. I want y'all to use your money on silliness. I love seeing you happy. Oh, thank you, Filmatics. Everyone knows it's Wendy. Hey. She says, baby news? You have baby news? Uh, I'm a longtime subscriber, signed Gilori. I know you sign. I have a relationship that's very similar to yours. Love and Spence. Thank you, girl. Hi, Elliot. I have a double chin because I have it. No! That's, that's cool again. Shut up, cool again. Okay. Let's just jump right in. So, Phil makes me laugh. No disrespect. So I had to write all this down and I want to make sure I got this right because there's a couple things I think I got wrong. I did a patron update first for the patrons to see. Um, and, and that's the, the, here's the thing I can be, I can get foggy and forget stuff. So I bring roommate. Um, so I wanted to make sure I get this all right. Cause what I've learned is any tiny slight miscommunication, wrong wording, the fucking adding or taking away of a word can mean I'm the world's biggest liar. But I wanted to share this with you guys because I have been opening up about stuff. Cy knows, Cy and Nathan and Alex, they have a, a okay, so I'm going to go ahead and and just kind of go over all of this. Um, ugh, sorry. Okay, so um, if you guys were with me before, uh, I'll actually, let me start from the beginning because maybe you guys weren't here earlier today when I went over some results. So um, here are some ones. Wendy, did you have a baby? Did you? Well, congratulations, Wendy, if you did. Did I miss it? I'm kind of, I'm trying to be in the chat and see you guys, but then I have to focus and I'm tired and foggy, so I'm going to try. So earlier today, uh, the rheumatologist called and I got my results back. We did three tests. Um, the three tests that I showed here, I guess I can, well, it's, it's hard to do because if, because before I was having to go really slow. So if you want to see, I'm sure there are moments you can go back uh, when I'm done and you can see, I put up the results. I put up everything. Um, and you could see very clearly what it was. And it was a website. It's not Photoshopped. It's that it was an online portal. All the doctor's offices now, everything's done through an online portal. You can get paper results, you know, like they can, they can print them off, but everything's online. So, um, she says, get to the point. This is Phil. No, no, honey. It's that I don't know if people weren't here earlier. So if they weren't here earlier, this may confuse them. So the rheumatologist did three tests. One was for now I'm seeing Helga, Lady Helga. There's somebody in your name, Helga, Lady Helga. That's it. <laughs> Come on, brain focus. Hepatitis. That's what it was. Hepatitis. That came back negative. The next one was my sed rate. Um, my sed rate came back high. And uh, so it came back at, it should be between 0 and 20. It was at a 16. Um, now, 
my grandmother has polymyalgia rheumatica, which is autoimmune. I didn't realize. I thought it was arthritis. It's actually autoimmune. Um, I know from helping her go to appointments over the years and stuff. Um, funny enough, we have really similar symptoms, which I would kind of noticed, but then I have certain ones she doesn't and vice versa. But um, her said rate, she said when she first got tested, like date, like she would have horrible flare-ups where it would test at like 70. But she said she went to the doctor and if it would test at 17, that was high. So she told me 16 is high and she knows, she fucking knows better than anybody else. So that's high. That indicates chronic inflammation. It indicates something's wrong. And then my C-reactive protein is supposed to be between zero to 30. I'm at 32. That indicates there's something going on. And the rheumatologist didn't even think went from yesterday. He's like, I don't think it's going to come back with anything. So they called my doc office. Doc office called me because I also had other results come in and they said, Hey, doc wants to see you and we need to do more testing. And I said, Hey, when's the quickest you can get me in? They said, we'll squeeze you in today at three. Awesome. So went up there, roommate came home early, um, and, uh, talked to the doc. And so here's what we talked about. Give me just a second. Okay. So we're putting me on, and I'm a little scared of it. I'm getting so tired. Putting me on a low dose of prednisone. If you guys have heard me, I'm terrified of prednisone. I actually just took one. Prednisone has been really hard on my body. When I was younger and I had bad asthma and allergies, sometimes nothing would help. And so they just have to put me on a prednisone uh, maybe three or four times a year to get my lungs to work, and it would make me crazy. We're on. I'm on 10 milligrams. 10 milligrams isn't a whole lot, but because my body's sensitive, I just kind of have to monitor stuff. Um, we're going to have me on it for six weeks. I believe roommate, is that right? Six weeks on it. Okay. On the 10 milligrams. And then we go down to five and then we taper it down. We're going to, the reason this is, I'm just explaining everything I was told. The reason it's going to be high for a while is to get all the inflammation under control. Um, but then we'll just taper it down and then we might even try like, cause this is what happens with my grandma. She'll taper it down until they'll try to get her to get off of it. And then if it flares up, they put her back on and they start her to high dose. And it's the same for me for the fibro. Um, by the way, for people who want to know if I have official diagnosis, I was wrong. I do. I talked to my doctor about it because my doctor knows I'm a YouTuber. So I sat and I was like, Hey, so, um, people are asking for official diagnosis. I've never been handed like, like a certificate of here it is. And she's like, it's in your chart. I'm like, where? So I fucking missed it. So it is in my chart. Um, I'm going to, I will have to find a way cause I have it all online to take pictures and put it up, but I don't want to put my info out. And if I put my info or if I cover up my info, people are going to say I'm lying. So it's kind of a catch 22. Um, so, uh, sorry, I'm reading what everything I wrote down. Um, so we talked about the Cymbalta, which is what the rheumatologist talked about. I said, I'm kind of worried about it because it's an antidepressant and no disrespect, you know, fucking with the chemicals on my brain, I think could be a little concerning and it said it can make you depressed and gain weight and I'm already having weight issues and I don't want any more depression because mine seems situational. And she said, yes, she said she, um, could instead she would try to do gabapentin gabapentin so i'm gonna how many milligrams hold on i have to look and i i don't want to show the bottles these then this is prescription this isn't samples but all my info is on here um that's that's the other that's not it that's the prednisone um 300 milligrams once a day and the prednisone is 10 milligrams once a day so then that the gabapentin is for nerve pain um it's you know it's it's kind of similar i guess to lyrica i don't know if it's Doc didn't say whether it was an anti-seizure, right? Because that was Lyrica. Okay, but she didn't, doctor didn't say whether it was. Okay, just making sure. I don't want to accidentally miss something or accidentally say something wrong. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that. It's going to be for nerve pain. Um, and since my thyroid is slightly high, I requested if there's something we can do about it. So Doc said it is slightly on the high side. It might not be anything to be concerned with. Um, but we, I asked if we could put me on medicine to try to see if it helps. She said, no problem. Roommate, am I getting this right? Okay. just making sure. Guys, I'm really tired and I have to ask him because there was a lot of stuff we went over. Um, my doc is, she's so awesome. So we put me on levothyroxine. So I do 25 milligrams. It's everything's once a day, right? Roommate? No. Is there one that's okay. Hold it. Let me look at the directions. Take one tablet by mouth every morning on an empty stomach. Okay, so the levothyroxine is one. Gabapentin is, this is it. Take one capsule by mouth three times daily, and then I know that prednisone is one, once a day with food. Okay, so um, that, and basically my doc said, you know, kind of watch it because we don't want your metabolism just really rubbing up to where it could cause issues. Okay, um, 
Now, Doc wants me to do some in-depth tests for parasites. Um, now, this is where roommate and I, it's not a disagreement, but I think I think we heard it differently, but I think his version is right, and I trust his version. Um, the first stool sample I did was, and by the way, I'm not looking at the chat right now because I got to focus, guys. So just a heads up, if you're giving me stuff, I apologize. Um, the first test I did was for, it was worms and parasites, right? The first test, roommate doesn't remember. I remember worms and parasites. Roommate just remembers parasites, right? Okay. The second test, not sure because I had a second stool test, not sure what it was for. Um, and, uh, didn't, because we talked about so much other stuff, didn't get around to asking, but the second test came back negative. Well, Doc was looking at, I believe, specific parasite, right? But neither roommate or I remember the name of it. So there's a specific parasite that it can come, it can come back negative, but there's something about ova and it shedding so it can come back negative. So the timing of testing it is important. So the doc said they're going to look, they want to look more into it and figure out the timing because we want to test it again. And the reason is when I got sick, I was, so let me back up. I've been sick for four years. The stomach stuff has been for a year and a half. What happened was I went to France with the intention of relocating, ended up coming back to the States. And two months later was when I had horrible, horrible stomach problems that never went away. The reason why this is interesting to my doc is because I ate a lot of sushi and a lot of raw fish there. I like raw fish, like raw soup. We did a lot of, even like, so uh, even the person that I was staying with, um, my friend did a lot of uh, at making sushi at home. And cause she went through this question, she went through questions of like, where, have you been out of the country? Have you been to the Nordic countries, this country, that country? And I was, and, you know, like in Europe and I was like, it was in France and she's like, that's close enough. So she wants to retest because she said the stomach thing has been going on for so long. She just wants to rule it completely out. So you might have worms, no. That is not what we're testing for. We're testing for parasites. But as paras a worm can be a parasite, right? But this is a specific parasite we're testing for. But yeah. Right, roommate? Can a I mean, a parasite would be a worm by nature because they have to live off of something, right? <sighs> I'm tired. And by the way, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm not saying we I have anything. We don't know. But uh, we're getting uh we're gonna retest. Roommate, am I doing, is this right that she, that she said it could be a CT scan because they want to, there was something enlarged, right? She said, some, was it, it's not gallbladder, is it? And it's not liver, but there was something that, if it was a, this specific parasite that can be enlarged, like swollen, and because my stomach is swollen all the time, like I'm pregnant, these are concerns. Do you remember what organ it was? I don't, it's not gallbladder, it's not pancreas, it's not liver, it's not kidneys, Fuck, I don't, I'm sorry, guys. Information overload, I don't remember. So, yeah, here comes Joy's Got Rumors. Here, Joy's Got Worms Rumors. Yes, Nathan. Was it spleen? Somebody said spleen. Is it spleen? Does that sound right? Liver? Was it liver? Okay. We've been watching this series on Netflix where they're deaf people. What is it called? Do you remember? Switch to birth. We've been watching it, and so now we, like, we signed the alphabet to each other. So we just signed here. Okay, um, so. Okay, um. Give me just a second. I call the Joy has worms. Yes, Cheshire. Guys, spread that shit. Hashtag Joy's got worms. <laughs> remember? Remember Dumb and Dumber? I got worms as a store. Hi, Gutless. Gutless, it's okay. I'll, I'll try to fill everybody in. I'll go over it quickly. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Give me just a second. Hi, Dr. Anka. How are you? Yes, it is. Fibro is very good. But the thing is, the last doctor I had where I had to travel said... Um, fibro has a lot been cut from being able to apply for a disability because so many people have, so it wouldn't matter. That's what the doc before said, but again, I've gotten little bits of different info from each doctor. Let me continue. I might have to do a bathroom run, um, cause stomach stuff has been fun today and it just started, which is why I'm getting very tired. It always, it always comes. The stomach stuff comes and I get tired and I started to feel flare ups and I was at the doctor's office, but I took the, uh, prednisone and I feel great. And it's weird because I could kind of feel the prednisone interacting with it, but I feel pretty good aside from that extreme tiredness that happens when I start to get uh, sick. So, um, let's see. Parasites. Um, so, yeah. And here, so I'm not sure what testing we're going to do. The doc is going to get back to me, and then they'll call and, or, and tell me to come in for the test. Um, if the test comes back for parasites negative, then I'll go to a GI person. Because I asked, I said, what about a, um, what's the butt test? endoscopy is the mouth colonoscopy and so 
she said, we will send you to, uh, uh, she said it was a GI doctor. The person was good. It was somebody she sent her mother to, somebody really good in the area. And they'll get all of that worked out. And you know what? I'd never be so fucking happy to have something up my ass, even though I don't like anal, even though people say, well, you say you've never done anal, but you've been anally raped, so you're wrong. No, people didn't listen. And I never consented, so it's different. Let's continue. Okay. Um, also, my doc was in a gynecologist office for 17 years. My doc was around at the time. Stefsky, watch out, prednisone long-term is bad. I know, I know, but this is going to be um, really small, like a small dosage. Like my grandmother takes five milligrams a day, and then they tailor it down. So, um, yeah, but I'm, I'm aware, and I'm not... Believe me, I'm not a fan of fucking prednisone, if you guys have ever watched me. Uh, Gutless Warrior, I can email you things to ask. Please do, I would love it, because a lot of, like, who is it? Melly Doe helped me learn to ask certain questions, and many of you guys, thank you so much. Please keep sending me stuff, because it's helping. I now know what to ask for. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Prednisone can also make you gain weight, I'm aware, which is another reason I don't want to be on it. But that's where we're hoping that if the thyroid medicine can also kind of help all of the medicine I'm going to take, we're hoping can counteract or counterbalance everything. Um, somebody says, what the fuck is that a taco? No, I think it's a pita. And I love pitas. Okay. You should be more afraid of the steroid than the antidepressant. I, I know John, but at this point, if that's the only thing that will help, so fucking be it. I I'll try it until I can find something else. So I just need to get to where I'm feeling better. No, I'm a GI master. I don't get this warrior. Okay. Just a second. Um, let's keep going. <clears throat> excuse me she was a gynecologist for 17 years and she said that um we because we talked in depth even though i've done this before i thought because the internet can fuck with your head i thought let me just really go over stuff about the iud's so i talked about the iud's my my doctor knows i'm on the internet and i said listen i said so there's a lot of back and forth and i've even seen back and forth between whether or not you can get copper toxicity from the Paragard IUD. And I know that there's st like there's still more studies to be done, but there are case studies after case studies, and there's so much information, there's so much stuff out there where there are reports of women being on the Paragard and getting copper toxicity and the link between autoimmune and these devices. I have to pee. Like, I can't get around it. I'm going to pee my pants. Give me one second, guys. Sorry, you're going to hear clicking. It's roomy, but I'll be quick. Uh, Sorry, I'm coming back. I'm out of breath. I'm coming back. Okay. Welcome. Or I should welcome me back. Welcome me back. That sounds arrogant. Welcome back me, everybody. Round of applause for me coming back from a piss. Okay. Um, Gyna was a, uh, she was, uh, my, my doctor worked in a gyno office for 17 years. She said that, uh, you can, she's like, she was very, like, she was very careful in how she worded it. Cause I asked her about the copper toxicity. First, she went into IUDs. She said IUDs can cause autoimmune issues. She said she saw it time and time again. She even went in the story of a girl who got, I think it was the implant on. It's the one you put like in your arm, I think. Um, and I hope I'm getting this info right. No. Chest? Sorry, what? I don't think they put that in your chest. I think it's your, in your boobs? <laughs> I don't know what you're... Right, but there was no, um, there was something else. There was no, there was, a, I know what you're talking about. There's, oh, you're talking about breast implants. There's another device I'm talking about. She said there's an implant on. That's what you put in your arm. And that there was a young girl that did that. And like, it was, no, am I getting this wrong? She talked about that, but she also said there was another story of a young girl who got the implant on. That's something that's implanted. I think it's under the skin. And that, remember, she had to, like, leave school for a while because she was so brain fogged. And after she took it out for, like, eight, after eight weeks, she was back to normal. She got the brain fog, couldn't focus, couldn't take in information. Did you hear that one? Okay, I did. I did. So, anyways. So, I don't know if you guys heard all that, but that's, sorry, I'm just making sure roommate and I have this, we're getting the same notes. 
So uh, she also talked about how um, she had worked with people who had breast implant sickness. And I told her, I'm like, that's how I found out about my IUD. And so that uh, she knew somebody that had breast implant sickness where the breast implant ruptured. They didn't have the money to get taken out and now has all types of autoimmune issues. Uh, same with, what is her name? The Real Housewives of something, somewhere California. There's that pretty tall blonde bitch. I forget her name, but she had the same thing. And, you know, that's uh, where that stuff can cause a lot of autoimmune issues. Hers is Lyme, so I know that's different. I'm not trying to compare. I'm just saying that they can exacerbate and cause issues. So um, she said, when I asked specifically about copper toxicity, I said, look, my copper tested high before. Um, I like to make sure and rule it out completely. But is it, I said, you know, is it the device that can cause that? And she said that the device she believes can cause it but it doesn't mean it will, and it doesn't mean it's going to, that everybody's body filters things out differently. Am I getting this right, roommate? Okay, just making sure. I don't. I want to make sure and say this 100% correct. Um, so she said it's absolutely possible. She said she doesn't see as many cases now simply because she now is primary care physician. She doesn't work in the gyno office. So um, she said that uh, she still, she saw back then, and she still from time to time when people come in, sees cases of uh, people getting autoimmune issues from these devices or anything foreign you put in the body. Um, so we are going to look into retesting me for high copper because she agreed with me that the blood tests aren't all, like testing is, she said specifically, testing for copper is tricky. So even though the blood work came back that there's not high copper doesn't mean there's not. And hair samples can be funny because that's what I thought, well, let's just do a hair sample. And so she's going to get back to me on the best way that we should retest for copper just to rule it out. I don't think it's an issue anymore, but I'd rather rule it out completely. Um, okay, let me see if there's anything else. Prednisone for six weeks, taper down to five milligrams. Polymyalgia rheumatica. It is an autoimmune illness and it is genetic and it is inherited. It's very possible that it's been sitting in me because it's genetic and the device in me for so long made it flare up. So that would explain a lot of the symptoms. Am I missing anything? I think I covered it all, right? I feel like I'm foggy, but I feel like I'm missing stuff. So, okay, sorry, I am now looking at the chat. So uh, your hair sample would simply say you're a Mormon. Yes, no, I'm Amish. And I'm Westboro. <laughs> so you'll feel better in no time. I hope so. Oh my God, I hope so. I'm praying. I'm fucking praying. But this is the latest stuff. Um, wait, is this in here? Let me see, what are these? This, because I don't want to... Sh oh, Angel, thank you for the thousand bars. You guys don't have to tip. Please don't have to do stuff. Thank you, Angel. Angel's been so sweet. Let's see if this goes over what medicines that I have. Because now I have it, like, in the actual... Like, I have... Like, the Lyrica with samples, this is... Why is this, this is a simple word, this is, I keep thinking prednisone, no, that's the medicine, this is, if it's not a sample, then you have a prescription. Fucking foggy. Okay. Yeah, okay. I see, but if, this stuff has info on it. Um, I have tape, I can do what I did earlier. Just a second. Uh, second, guys. Careful, Joy, back of paper. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. I mean, it wouldn't be, like, horrible info. It's just not, I'd rather not have it there. Okay, I think, yeah, we can do it like this. Okay. Here we go. So you can see here, tell me if you can see it. Gabapentin. Anybody see it? Hi, Gutless. It's okay, Gutless. Take care of you, honey. Wait, it's, okay, you guys see that? Gabapentin, 300 milligrams. Yeah, I know, it's it's fine. The name is fine. Everybody knows my name at this point. And it, I just, give me some yeses if you see it. I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. Sierra says, I'm on Gabapentin. Really? Let me know how it goes, because Doc said that for some people it doesn't work, so we'll have to see. Okay, next one is going to be prednisone. Tell me if you can see. Prednisone, 10 milligrams. Anybody else see that? Anybody else? Let me know. Give me some yeses if you see it. Prednisone, 10 milligrams. Willow Mist, you shouldn't have to be doing this. Yeah, I know, but that's how things go. Okay, I see yeses. Gabapentin made me sick as hell, Dana says, okay, I'll, I'll keep it in mind. Because she said Gabapentin could have some odd side effects. Now... 
Here is the level Thoroxin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. 250. Wait, mine says, is it 250? Yeah. No, mine says 25. This says, oh, 25 MCG. I'm reading it wrong. Okay. Tell me if this says 25. You guys see it? Love with the rocks and 25 milligrams. Joy on drugs confirmed. That's a fucking lootly. Okay. I showed you everything, right? Those are my new prescriptions. MCG. I thought that was milligrams, right? No? Well, I know milligrams is MG. I hope you don't need 250. That'd be a heck of an issue. <laughs> Dr. Hong Call, right on, right on. Oh, Mike, it's 70 says MG micro. Grams? I don't know what that means. MCG, micrograms. Thank you. Thank you, Gutless. What's the difference between micrograms and milligrams? Fuck, I don't know. Drug sprackle, BS. Yes, I'm a drug sprackle. They are microgram. I wonder what the difference, I mean, I guess it's just measurement, right? Smaller, yeah, that's what it looks like. Takes a good while to get the thyroid meds to work. Right, right, right. Mill is bigger. That's what, okay. Yeah, micro obviously micro means smaller. That makes sense. One thousand MCGs. Oh, okay. No, what spackle? I like spackle. MCG is micrograms. MG is milligrams. Thank you, Tiffany B. Thank you. So this platform never really works for me. Why, Amy? This it's honey. It's glitchy. This platform is glitchy. Two decimal places to the left. Renee hashtag drug to confirm. Yes, gutless war. I've been on both level and GABA. If you, okay, Gutless, send me some info if you have it, because I'm curious what you guys have found. I'm on Prozac and why join me. Yes, queen. Joy is an addict. Yes, warrior butterfly. <clears throat> I love my pink hair, says Laura. Laura, I probably love your pink hair, too. Look at volumes versus weight. Okay, and somebody just sent me something. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha, Sai. We'll totally do that. No worries. Right on. And for the thyroid, half an hour before food in the morning. Yes. Yeah, so the thyroid, it says it's like either half hour, it's like an hour before food or two hours after I eat, right? Wait, where's this one? Yeah, it says every morning on an empty stomach, but the doctor was like either in the morning or like two hours after I eat. Does that sound right, roommate, for the levothyroxine? Wow, you look like a dude in your thumbnail. Yes. Well, that means I'm hot. Uh, Joy, do you ever eat Dutch pancakes? I'll eat your Dutch pancakes, Bear. Hi, Bear. Tiffany B, thank you for the Anna likes. You don't have to do that. You don't have to. Pick a time and stick with it. <laughs> so, I'm just excited because we're finding stuff. This means if everything else is clear, that officially she has fibro, right? Yes. Um, I'm not sure how to get that to you guys because I don't know. I'm, I'm really tired right now. I mean, I can I can screenshot it, but... Okay, so this is the thing. When I start getting tired and crashing, it's hard to focus and do anything. Um, am I on pain meds? Uh, no, not yet. I will be. Well, tomorrow I'll be on gabapentin. So you get horrible comments. It's almost shocking. Uh, Lauren, I do. <laughs> so um, let me see if I... Okay, hold on, because I, I don't remember the website. Let me pull up the email. Also, guys, I got mad and I said, fuck it. I want to eat a salad. I'm tired of crap. So I ate a salad, and then I went and I splurged. I got chai tea latte from Starbucks, and I ate a protein bar, and everything came out two hours later. <sighs> I'm so tired of pizza and noodles and burgers. I don't want it. This is what happens. Okay, um, give me just a second. Let me, oh, I'm so tired. Let me find it. Sorry, I don't mean to be whiny. It's, it's exceptionally hard to focus when I'm when this is flared up. Okay, that's my chart. That was the rheumatologist. That's not it. Okay, give me just a second, guys. I'm going to try to pull it up, and I'm going to see. Okay. Um... Fuck, what is it? Sorry, I don't remember my username. Fuck. Roommate, you have no idea what my username is, right? I think it's, okay, hold on, guys, sorry. Let me see if I can get some verifiable proof that everybody's been screaming about. One second. Okay, I'm in my portal, lab diagnostic. 
Oh, good. Everything's in there. Oh, okay. We can, we, we, I have the, the test, the, the last poo test then. It's called Clostridium Difficile Toxin. Uh, hold on. I don't know what any of this means, but it, whatever it is is negative, it looks like. Yeah, not detected. So it was for GDH antigen and toxin A and B. Both are not detected. And no toxigenetic C difficile detected. That was the last poo test. I don't think that was gone over, right? I don't think we went over that. Or did we? We did? And we just don't remember? Okay. All right. Give me just a second, guys. I All my labs came through. Okay. Um... Give me just a second. Renical records. Okay. Personal health record, maybe? Just a second. Because my doc said it's in here. How old is your dog? I'm telling this a lot of times. I, honey, I don't have a dog. Last test was for C. diff, which sucks. Well, it looks like it. I, that's not an issue. I don't know what C. diff is. I'll have to look it up. I don't know, Paulina, I don't know what dog, I don't know. Okay, it's, it's loading. Um, yep, I have it. Okay, so from here, doctor said that this, what I'm about to show you would constitute as a diagnosis and that we will officially diagnose me with polymyalgia rheumatica if what she has me on for six weeks works, then it would be like an official diagnosis. Just, just heads up. Cause I asked all kinds of stuff. Um, hold on. I'm just making sure. And here's all my, and I'll take a picture. Here's my medicines. Oh, and there's one more. Um, it's high Hyoscyamine sulfate. It's for my stomach. It's for like so it doesn't contract. Orally every four hours. One tablet is needed. So here we go. Let me. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Um. What else should I take a picture of? I can take a picture of this. Some of this I can take a picture of because it doesn't have my info on it. Yay. Um. It has my info. Do you want to see what I'm looking at? No. Oh, be careful because people can see you. Here. I'll... I, I turned the camera so you're good. Quit it. Quit it. You're a butthole. Okay. Um... Okay, guys. Yep, here we go. Okay, I guess I could take a picture of it with my phone and show you for now, right? Sorry, I'm not in the chat. I'm trying to get this going. Just a second. Yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. I'll show it to you guys on my phone now since I took a picture. C. diff is an infection of the GI tract. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, that came back negative, which is good, right? C. diff is a GI bacterial infection. Well, that's good then. It's good. That came back. Okay. So, you guys ready for the fibro diagnosis? This is what my doctor told me. She said specifically this would constitute. Here we go. This is, yep, part of my lab work. You're not lab, but this is part of the stuff from doc office. Can you guys see it? Or maybe if I turn it this way. Yeah, that's better. Well, hold on. Now I gotta be careful. Okay. Here we go. Can you guys see the results? Or not results, but can you see where it says fibromyalgia? My doctor said that constitutes as an official diagnosis. Second one down. So there you go. It's been in my paperwork. Had no fucking clue. So 
Because it's out of focus. Is that better? I have to be careful because the bottom of the camera could be some, like, little photos and people get creepy with me. You guys see? Okay. That's where I was going to suggest hyocyamine to you. Well, thank you. Yeah, email me. Email it because I'll, I'll, I promise you I'll forget in 30 seconds. <laughs> Having to prove this is so sad. Well, it is on the one hand, it hurts my heart for humanity, but you know what? There are motherfuckers who are going to lie about shit, so I get it. That's why I've said from day one, well, I can't be too upset about it, but there you go. I thought you broke your phone, huh? It also says hypothyroidism. Where? Does it? Huh-uh. It says acquired hypothyroidism. Oh! Hold on, this is confusing. Yeah, at the top, it says acquired hypothyroidism, and it says EO 3.9, but mine was 3.31. But she has my charts from other stuff, so this might have been from other charts that I missed. Unless I'm mistaken. Here, look again, because I'm not, I'm not trying to fucking, like, I'm not trying to scam anybody. Here, thank you for pointing that out. Do you guys see? At the very top. Those are ICD codes for billing. Oh, I don't know what that is. And if I've done it, hold on. If I've done it wrong, tell me. But this, my doc said it's in here and this constitutes as a diagnosis. But I haven't been diagnosed for anything with my thyroid as far as I'm aware. I mean, we're treating me for hypothyroidism. We're treating it right now. But... I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Am I, am I getting this right? See, and this is the problem. I get confused with stuff and then I don't remember stuff. Fuck. Yes, I am partnered. Marion. Definitely photoshopped. Uh uh. Hold on. You like, I'm not sure. How do I prove it? Let me, well, let me see if I can go online. I'll do like I did last time. Let me see if I can go online to get it. Um, let me see. What is the website? Because I just clicked on the button. Just a second. Um, okay. Guys, this will take a second. And I have little fat fingers. Oh, it's getting heavy to breathe. I don't know if it's because I just started getting stomach stick or it's because I just took the prednisone because my doc doc did say be careful if I'm wheezing right because I felt a little wheezy after the prednisone but I shouldn't prednisone is supposed to help with with lungs like it opens everything up it's not much it's just a little bit but I guess it's you know it's nothing to worry about I've had asthma so I know how to deal with it if it gets bad I'll go up there and say something variety okay just a second Ah, got something wrong. Okay. Oh, I did this right. Ah. Oh. Says it can't be found. He says the Photoshop was a joke. Well, let's just, let's triple, ch I'm just, I want to make sure that there is no room for error on this. Like that nobody can come back and say, blah, 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 like, like they do. So, okay, hold on. Oh, roommate, is it because, oh, he's busy. I don't want to bother. You're fine. You're fine. Is it because I'm on the Wi-Fi? That would make it better, right? Because it's not, it's now it's not pulling up any websites. Let's turn Wi-Fi off. Let's see if that helps. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we're gonna go back, back. Oh, I don't wanna enter it again. Okay, just a second. It's not, 
websites don't want to pull up on my phone right now. I'm not sure what to do. I swear, when you have labs done, they did your, I don't see. Um, I think you might have Hashimoto's thyroid thyroiditis based on what you showed in symptoms. Yeah, that's, that it is, we haven't talked about uh, Hashimoto's yet, so that'll probably be the next one because that was something on my list. Official diagnosis showing where hypothyroidism, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, and chronic diarrhea. So there you go. Um, but I don't, it's not letting me pull it up on my phone. Remember like earlier today when I was able to go on the website and show, it's just giving me errors. Here, I'll show you. It's giving me error every fucking time. I'm not sure why. I guess maybe I could restart it. Well, now it's not an error, but it's. Nope, it's not letting me do it. Maybe it might not be compatible for phones. How much vitamin C are you taking? I'm not, um, the last doc I worked with um, that did vitamins told me because things weren't working to stop everything. So I haven't been taking vitamins for a while. How do you feel in general? I'm fucking ecstatic. I'm ecstatic because it's just, it's one step further. It's one step further. Oh, Gutless, don't worry about, there, this is not a super chat thing here. It's not, I mean, you don't, don't feel like you have to send anything. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Okay. Um, I agree, Dean, but that's just the way of the internet. And you know what? I wanted to come on here because I knew something was wrong and I didn't know. And I wanted to showcase myself going through this process and trying to figure it out. And I'm just happy that it seems like we're getting there. I don't get, even if, even if what we're doing doesn't work, they're finding stuff. That's what I'm happy about. And we're seeing the links of, well, if my grandma has polymyalgia rheumatica, it runs in the family. I have similar symptoms. Fuck, wouldn't it stand a reason? So I just want to, you guys have no idea. I just want to get better. I just want to get better and be able to fit into clothes. Like I miss you guys. I know people bitch about my hair and what I, what I wear all the time, but it's like, I barely have the energy a lot of days to get out of bed. If I take a shower, that's all I can do. I, I don't have the energy. My hair I've been at a haircut in a year and a half. It's way too long to straighten for it to stay now. You know, four or five months ago, I could. I can't now. It's just too long and heavy. And women understand what I'm talking about. And I can't fit into majority of my clothes. I just want to be able to put jeans on again. I used to, guys, I used to be anywhere from a double. It was um, a zero to a two in junior's pants. One time I did a double zero, but that was like an express. So it's not junior's. But I was so small and I could wear anything. I know I can't. I can't even fit into my bras. <laughs> so I'm going to be so happy to wear a bra again. Um, so I'm excited. I'm glad you're getting answers. I know our chronic illness is yes. Ugh, and I'm feeling it. I can. I feel my, my back and my heart stuff acting up, but I feel the prednisone fighting it. It feels really weird. Treat yourself. Y'all, you don't even... I have... So you guys don't know the clothing. One day, I'm, I, I, and I never put up my clothes and stuff because I can't wear them and it's depressing. But when I can fit it, but I have at least, right now I'm at 171 in weight. I have at least 50 pounds to lose before I can really fit into any of it because I had small stuff. I had a lot of crop tops. It was so cute. I had cute stuff. I still have it. I've, I have a lot of clothes I never even wore. I bought, oh, I love buying clothes. Like when I made a lot of money, I would budget 100 bucks a month just to buy whatever I wanted. And some months I didn't buy anything. So I would just, I bought so many clothes and I was modeling and I had fun. And then a lot of it I just never wore and I couldn't. And I know that's, I know that's like, it's not that big a deal. I know that's like a, what do you call it? Um, gutless. Your THS being high means you've got... Don't know yet. Um, I know that's kind of a shallow thing, but it, to me, clothing is art. I, I don't do makeup. I don't do much with my hair, but I love clothing. I love dressing up and expressing myself to the world. I, I miss, you know what I miss? I miss like yoga pants. Like that, I miss, like I used to all the time wear workout gear. Just like that was my running around gear. I know I was one of those fucking basic bitches drinking a fucking chai tea latte and yoga pants for no reason, but I miss it. I miss that. And I had like, I had little crop top hoodies and I was so, like, uh, my body was so small and cute. Not that I, I'm okay now. I like me now. And you're beautiful no matter what you, what size. But I just, I miss fitting into my clothes. And it would be nice to have my body back. It would be nice. It is fun to dress up. It is. Fashion Nova makes awesome clothes. Means you have hypothyroidism. Really? Well, my TH, actually, I have the result here. My TH, 
Where is it? I, I, take, I can take a picture of it, actually. <gasps> yeah, I can take pictures of stuff. Hold on, I'll show you. Here, hold on. Okay, you heard that. That's the screenshot. Let's take a photo. Make sure it's not showing anything. Nope. There we go. Okay, I'll show you guys. Is that it? So to make sure. Oh, I gotta be careful. Sorry, guys. I'm having messages come in. Can you guys see it? That's. So some of the results I was talking about, they're online and you don't have to see my info so I can show them. Can't see it? Do you guys see it? No. When I focus, no, I do. When I focus, I look, I look like I'm gonna hurt somebody. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. I think I might even make a video and put all of this in there because I'm so happy. I'm so fucking happy. And then my content can get much better because I won't be sick all the time and depressed. <laughs> I can go outside, guys. I can go for walks. I'm going to be so excited to go for a nature walk and put on headphones. There you go. Okay. So, I've been out here 45. I didn't realize it was 45 minutes. I know. I do. I have a, I have a, okay. It's because I think from my Scottish heritage, I have Henri eyebrows. You guys can't see it because when I'm talking, I'm animated. I'm always talking to you. But look, okay, hold on. If I have my if my face is serious, let me just like not have. I was about to say not have a face. You can't not have a face. Okay, ready? This is my resting face, my thinking face, resting and thinking face. This is my I'm not animated face. I'm just thinking. It looks like somebody died. It's like who died? I'm like I don't know. Where's the funeral? Oh, thank you, Nina. I'm really happy, too. You have the same eyebrows. I know. I have scary-looking eyebrows. You look mad. I know. Like, I look like I'm about to punch somebody. I don't know why. But when I talk, you can't see it because I'm all animated and they go up. But then, like, if I'm just relaxed, chilling, my relaxed face. <laughs> it's because of the eyebrows. See? They do this thing where they, like, I can't, I almost, <clears throat> I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> can't do it. They go like up and out and then here, wait here, it's like bald, the little bald spot where it looks like maybe I got in a knife fight. Is that what a knife fight looks like? I would assume so. Cause I'm so fucking street, right? <laughs> Shut up, Alex, go for walks. Um, Paulina says she asked for criticism and her fans are mad. I think it's noble for her to answer. Thank you, Paulina. Would you ever get your eyebrows micro? What's microblade? I'm no, I'm cool with them. I'm cool with my honor looking eyebrows. I don't care. I don't. It's my face. It's my face hair. <laughs> Where my face hair? I don't care. No disrespect to somebody who wants to. Can't wait to see the videos where you're outside. I know. I want to show you guys my favorite trail, but I'm afraid if I do, then people are gonna show up there and get scary. People are scary. Do I get a knife fight confirmed? Uh, you know, people are gonna say it. No, guys, she had inoperable. Br terminal brain cancer and apparently she used to live on the street and get knife fights all the time but somehow she also made a lot of money and traveled the world and and lived in france but then she was homeless getting a knife fights a fucking liar never had terminal cancer you are right i never had terminal cancer the rumors y'all the rumors like it's so much fun i thought you were taking a break uh, i was until i realized i could not afford to take a break and get the medical testing done getting stabbed is not fun i bet i had never been stabbed If you can't be respectful, I'm getting criticism. Well, didn't just don't. Well, kissing constellations, welcome to the internet. <laughs> Token, thank you for the cokes. I'm all coked up. <laughs> Apparently, I was Onision's first wife. What the hell is that? I'm Onision's first wife. Well, I did say I lived in Seattle for six months back in 2009. So, yeah, of course it's true. I've only been stabbed surgically. Me too. I had surgery. See my thumb? I had surgery on my thumb. Can y'all see it? 
like this weird little line. There's little dots on it too. It was when I was 10. I was cutting an apple and I fucked up. See that scar? Here, maybe you can see it better like this. I can't contort! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna go crazy on Twitter. Cheshire, go for it. I saw a kid get stabbed and his guts run out to the... Oh my god, Dr. On Call, I'm sorry. Life go hard, Jesus. What's thrust mean? People keep saying thrust. Thrust easy says thrust thrust. What is that? I can't wait to rub it in. <laughs> That's right, Paulina, I have answered you. You and I have had, like, conversations on here, kind of. I mean, like, with everybody else, of course. Not like we did a one-on-one, because -on -one, here it comes. She said she did a one-on-one -on -one with somebody. It never happened. She's a liar. <laughs> So there we go. I'm going to get off here and I'm going to go crash. I'm going to go sleep. Oh my god, once my sister was holding the door frame and my mom shut the door on her thumb. She was three years old. She didn't scream. She oh, schizo, that hurts. That reminds me of uh, The Sims. They get irritated and they'll go, hurts. Uh. Anybody know what I'm talking about The Sims 4? Also, roommate always talks about The Sims. I guess in Sims 2, I think, they go, log em, flog em. And Odin grew. So every time I play, he starts speaking the Simless she remembers. Oh, doctor on calls is part of my job. I was an EMS. Oh, God. Y'all, I would assume y'all leave that job traumatized. Thinking of Elvis. Oh, I'm getting really thirsty, and I think that might be prednisone. I think prednisone dries you out, right? If I remember from taking it when I was younger, it can make you really thirsty. Life do go hard, Alex. And I had my first chai tea latte. Look, I'll show you. And I hadn't had one in weeks. Because I was afraid of my tummy. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I only get two pumps of chai, not three, and no water, only milk. Do you play other games? No. I do play on the Wii Mario Kart. I'm really good at Mario Kart on the Wii. In fact, since I have some energy, roommate doesn't know it, but we're going to play tonight the first time. I have energy. I'm so happy to have energy right now because I rarely do. I think Joy is interesting. She's unique and professional. Well, thank you, Danny. I just can't wait to have better content. My content's shit. It's shit because I can only do what I can do. And some details I get wrong because of the brain fog and shit. Like, it's a mess. So I'm hoping if we can get this under control, maybe I can have some decent fucking content. I can do skits. My God, I could sing. I could do singing videos. I have some ideas. Lots of ideas. Have you tried sticker to the hot chocolate? That sounds amazing. I just seen a good mood. I miss being in a good mood. Like, this is always how I am. I'm always just happy and hyper and bubbly. Like, what you're seeing right now, before I got sick, is how I normally am. But sick and not being able to have a life causes sadness. Thrust easy, girl. You gotta stop with the thrust, honey. I gotta block you. No disrespect, but you gotta stop spamming. No more thrusts. You can do, like, an easy on and play Mario Kart with people. I think they have a version of... Can I? Can I play Mario Kart with y'all or, like, patrons? You jump on drama, you need content that YouTube won't blacklist. I don't want, like, I, that's the thing. There was news drama. I like news reports. By the way, people pointed out that the video I did today about the guy getting stabbed might not be real. If it's not, I'll make a retraction. And thank you guys for letting me know. Teach me to sing. I could do singing tutorials. I sure could. Acadia, Psy can't ban in here, but I can. And I just, you know, it's just unfair to everybody. Thank you for becoming a fan thrust. Benji, Alex, and Mike, and actor all need to do songs together. Yes! We should! We'll do a musical song together. I wonder what we could do. Travis, thank you for the thousand bars, my love. You don't have to give me anything, though. You don't. I stabbed my dog with a vegetable peel over the night. I felt so bad. Oh, be careful, pupper. Also, I have really exciting news. Roommate, do you think I should tell the news about... The big thing? Because, no. The thing is, though, well, people already know, I think. So does it matter, or should it be private? Nod, yes or no. Do you think it should be private? Okay. There's also something else really good that happened, but I don't want to talk about it, but I'm pretty fucking excited. You beating the beast if you ever start... Oh, yeah! Mm -hmm. I want to do... Was it Bebo? Bebo B Bice or Bryce? I could do that with Benji. That'd be so fun. Or Alex! Alex, you need Beauty and the Beast, the old one with Celine Dion. I love Celine. Oh, Sai, you I think you already know. Hold on, I'm gonna text Sai. 
So I think you already know, but I'm pretty excited. Okay, next said sigh. How do I get pregnant? Boofing. That's how it happens. It's my understanding. I can't play Mario Kart. I can't figure out the remote. And I always drive backwards. My family laughs at me. Kind of, kind of funny. I must admit. Oh, I'm sorry. I love Mario Kart. Roommate has become boyfriend. Um, no, he was. I love Celine. I do a really good Britney. You guys have never heard my Britney Spears. I do. Uh, I I gotta do this for you sometime. I do uh, my own version of Britney Spears' Hit Me Baby one more time. It's called Hit Me Baby Friend Behind, and it's about anal sex. The things I am traumatized the most by, I joke the most about. I couldn't do it right now. My uh, my voice is fucking shot, guys. I do know Greg is charging to watch his videos. That's okay. That is his choice. That is his channel. Celine Dion's new song from B&B's. Does she have a new one? I haven't heard the new one. I want Celine and Josh Groban to do a Beauty and the Beast song. Oh, guys, what I wouldn't give to sing with Josh Groban. Humor's the best medicine to get through stuff. Exactly. Bye, Tommy. Have a good night, honey. I wonder if all the people who've been screaming how I've lied about fibro and being sick and having autoimmune, I wonder if I'm going to get an apology. The answer is no. What I've learned about people is when they do mean stuff, they don't apologize. Like, there was this one person who was screaming at me, even though the evidence was there, was like, you bought subs. And I'm like, no, it's a glitch. No, it's not. Go look on Social Blade. Do the research. I did the research. Then go look at Social Blade. Oh, you got, you bought subs. You're going to do, you sent to a new law. You fucking cunt. And then it, and then people are arguing with this person. They're arguing. Go silent because it realizes there was a glitch. And now the glitch is fixed. Nothing. People don't apologize. They're not going to apologize. He delete every subscriber. Yeah, well, probably. Did you say you had elevated CRP? What's CRP? Why do you always talk about your mental illness on your physical illnesses? You should admit you need psychological help also. Angie, the psychological stuff comes from being so sick. Except I do get anxiety. That That is a thing. And I have been diagnosed with PTSD, which I've talked about. I maybe I love it. So now it's like instead of anybody, like, instead of some of the people admitting that they're wrong, instead now it's like, wow, they move on to the next thing. There's no like, you know what? You're right and I apologize. Now some of you do, which is awesome. Hi, Kathy. Yeah, I almost said Kathy. Hi, Kathy, honey. How are you? You were getting ahead and don't want to be cocky. No, I don't want to be cocky. That's not it. I'm, uh, But I am saying, and you're right. I don't want to be cocky. I don't want to be arrogant. So thank you for saying that because that's not what I want to do. But I always find it interesting that these the people that when it comes out, nobody ever apologizes. Bye, hey, Tay. Have a good night. Vegan cheese balls. Got something like 74 helicopters the other night. What's that mean? What is that? Now you're coming off arrogant. Okay, well, thank you for letting me know. I'll keep it in check. Not trying to. PTSD is held in the form of permanent memory fixed to your brain. I, it was, I was diagnosed 2010? 2010, I think. Or it was either late 2010, early 2011. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't bother me that much anymore. I worked through it. We're going to get together and go see Josh Groban. Yes! Girl, yes! You guys, let's have a meet up at a Josh Groban concert. I'm down. Don't say she got cocky. She's happy. There's progress. Yes, but it, thank you, Autumn. At the same time, I don't, I don't want to come across copy. CRP shows inflammation in the body. What is the acronym? CRP. Because I have, what was God? And I'm sorry, I'm fogged. What was it? I have the reactive protein. What was that first one? C reactive. Pro Wait, is that what it was? C reactive protein. Hold on, let me look. That's that's what it's called, right? I'm getting really foggy. Come on. One second, guys. <sighs> Wrong password. No, I have it. No, I don't have it there. Hold on. There, it worked. Okay, just a second. So we're going to go to save. Okay, I'll just go ahead and do that. Um, Test results. Yes, C-reactive protein. That's I'm sorry. I, I'm not seeing just the full acronym, so got foggy. Never got a cocky guy from Joy. Don't know where people get that from. Probably the most down to earth. Oh, thank you. Except Boogie. I love Boogie. Yeah, guys, it's okay. I 
Guys, I the other night Paulina was on and I talked about I was afraid I was getting arrogant at times and she was talking to me about it. So I said to give feedback, she did. It's okay. She's being nice. So but thank you guys for thank you guys for trying to defend me. I, I think she's being nice. Ignore web MDs. Yes, Kathy. Yes. Lydia, I have. I've seen it. I've seen it. I know the video where he says, you obviously don't care. I, I know. I'm aware. No, no. P Paulina, you're fine. You're being nice. You're fine. Hey, Joy, do you love Blair White? Yeah, I do. Blair's awesome. John says, I'm impressed you pulled back. Well, I think what a lot of people aren't understanding is a lot of what you're seeing from me has been being so sick and trying to just maintain. You guys don't understand. A lot of the times I'm so sick as I'm on here doing stuff and I try not to complain. It's hard to just function and it fucks with you emotionally and it fucks with you mentally. On top of then having all of the hate that comes, I could deal with the hate if I wasn't sick. Like it's like dealing with everything in my weakest moments. And I think that's what some people might not understand. And no disrespect. I'm not sitting here like, ah, oh, you're stupid. Like I'm not blaming anybody. It's it's a hard balance. It's a hard balance to be, like, even, even roommate, like, it's hard sometimes, it's a hard balance to be around somebody who's chronically sick because of all the shit that ties to it. I hope you know I'm being sincere, Joy, I'm not being sincere. No, it's okay, psycho. You're fine. Paulina says she wants to win people back. Well, it's, it's more that I, I, here's the thing. If people need to unsubscribe and leave, that's okay. Like, I want them to do what feels right for them. I want to be a kind person. Like, I want to be the best person I can be. I want to be the kindest person I can be, but not let myself get stepped on. So it's not so much about wanting to win people back and have everybody watch me as I want to be, make sure that I'm, that I'm doing the right things. You open your mouth and get haters for hating you. Well, sometimes it's easy to keep your walls up in your head when you're physically. Yes, exactly. Autumn. Exactly. It's hard to watch all the hate. I can't imagine. Well, it's it's hard to go through it not being as unwell as I am. That's what's been hard. Is Gray gay since his wife is not female? I, I don't know. I don't think so. And I don't want to answer that. People trying to defame her creates the hate. Yes, she called me psycho. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Schizo, like, did I call you psycho? I, I'm sorry. I meant schizo. That was not brain fog and tired. Not intentional. Oh, thank you, Sarah. I've been lethargic the past week. I couldn't imagine for four years that, like, they take the worst cold and flu and the worst stomach bug you've ever had, and they never go away to where you can't read like two sentences and process the info. That's what it's been. It's been a fucking nightmare. I have teenager neighbors, and they're making such a racket. Damn kids. Sigh, you are a grandmother. You are already a grandmother, and I fucking love you. It's hard to watch other throw so much hate. I, I've heard other people say that too. I've had people leave and say, I just, I can't handle people attacking you. And I get that. Just got home from work. Two fatal incidents in ER. Outs the hate. And, oh, Kathy, I'm sorry. She said, just got home from work. Two fatal accidents in the ER. Outs the hate in perspective. It does. It does. Puts the hate. I agree. I'm going to say a little prayer, Kathy. I'm sorry. God, that's, that's got to be hard to watch. Oh, Jesus. It does put things into perspective. Damn. What about the CBD oil? Uh, CBD makes my stomach hurt. And my doc, I talked to my doc, my doc specifically said that is a side effect for some people. That's why I don't take it. And it, I would have to take it in high doses and the small dose makes my stomach hurt. So, and it's hit or miss on whether or not it has, it works with me. People literally just like your videos for no reason. It's upsetting. And, and I hear that to tell your hard work be put down. Well, thank you, Princess Sarah. But at the same time, people have a right to feel the way they need to. You know, people have a right to not like me. That is okay. I appreciate you saying that in your support, but I'm okay with it because people can feel however they need to feel. Joy, did you ever negative reaction stream? It was awesome. I did. Well, I've seen part of it. I think I might use it in a video too. He's given me permission. Uh, I got out of EMS and took in a special care. I would take the ER anytime looking back. Interesting. So maternal. Did I know? No, but I've had, I've had like boyfriends and people tell me you'd be a great mom. I'm like, oh, I don't know. If Joy keeps acting like this, all the hate will be in vain. Well, that's the thing is like what you're seeing is me not sick. You're seeing me as who I am. The sick version of me is literally me in my weakest moments, just trying to fucking battle through it. And so when you're in that place of you barely feel like you can take another step and then you have 
you have no, you have very little support in your life, no family support, and you have all this shit coming at you, it's so hard. That's what's been so hard about this whole process. Hey, Jacqueline. Hey, girl. How are you, sweetheart? Jacqueline's here. I'm registered nurse. I couldn't work in the ER. Guys, I just want to say real quick, Jacqueline Glenn is fucking amazing. She is kind. She has never done me wrong. She is a sweet person. She is really, really good people. Just wanted to throw that out there. Jacqueline has been, you know, a lot of YouTubers have been fucking assholes or turned around and been assholes for views. She's always been really, really kind to me. Just going to put it out there. Jay Cupcake, just want to say thank you, Joy. You helped me through so much. I'm truly happy you're getting results. I am too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, no, you are, Jack. Jacqueline, are you feeling better? I know you said you were sick, and I I got worried. I wanted to send you a message, but then I was like, I know you're getting inundated. I know when I'm sick, I feel guilty because I can't respond to everybody, and I thought, I don't want to throw another pile on your plate. I know you don't know me that well, but I know what chronic shit feels like, so if I can ever help or be of support, you can hit me up. I'm sure you have family and friends, but, you know, if you ever need somebody, I'm around. I, I know she said she has, I think... Is it, forgive me, either strep or mono for a month? And I, I might be getting that wrong, guys. Correct me if I'm getting it wrong. But, um, yeah, that's, it's a fucking mess. And I felt bad because I watched her video and she's like, mono, that's what I thought. And I watched her video and she said that she's been trying to put on weight and she can't. And, and now she's lost weight. Like, I know how that feels on the opposite end. So, I just hope she gets, I, we hope, we, well, no, blah. well wishes, Jacqueline. We hope you get better soon, honey. We're wishing you well. Fresh, uh, precious two views. I've heard a little bit of that. If you want, tweet at me because I've heard a little bit. I just feel that sooner you can imagine you will be happy. I hope so. I hope so. Yes, Jacqueline says thank you for the love, guys. Send some love to Jacqueline. And if you see her on, send some love to her. Save the likes for me and give them to Jacqueline. Like some bars for Jacqueline. She's got medical, like she's got medical bills and stuff too. So go, go. I appreciate your guys' kindness and support. Go send it to Jacqueline when you see her on. How can I DM you? I have some info. Uh, send me an email. You can tweet at me or send me an email at JoySparkleBS. Hi, Hadsky. Love you, Jacqueline. I've been watching you for six years. Yes, we've all. Been, a lot of us are longtime fans of Jacqueline. Jacqueline was one of the people that inspired me to get on YouTube. I also just like those that put themselves on a pedestal. Those that who assume people would purchase their fecal matter. Who's who's poo? Sorry, guys. Who's who's poo? Was anybody purchasing? I'm lost. L. Jacqueline is a fabulous YouTuber. I I concur. Joy would never talk about money, too. Just thank people for bars and call it a day. Joy should never talk about money. Um, I, I, and I get that. I just, I get it. Just, you know, I don't know. Maybe that does sound, and I, I'm tired. I can't think of the word. Tacky, I guess. So, or cl maybe la classless. <laughs> I don't know the word. Uh, Joy Sparkle BS at Gmail. People say, some, some people I, I hear, I see the comments, like they don't like Jacqueline's um, anti-Christian stuff. And I understand, but I will say this. Um, even if she's anti-Christian, some of the people on this platform who claim to be Christians have done me horribly dirty in very awful ways. Jacqueline has been nothing but kind and respectful. And no, no, I'm not putting anybody's beliefs down. You can believe whatever you want. You can feel however you want. I just want to come out and say that, that I think kindness and compassion are matter and that they, that's a big component. Naive, thank you. It's a big component um, to being a, a, a kind human being. And I think that's actually, those are Christian traits. And those are things that she has bestowed, that she bestowed, that she has shown me. And I think those should be celebrated. That's just, just throwing it out there. No, I'm not a Christian. Now, if you were to, she says, I'm not anti-Christian. I am, I'm ant, I'm not anti-Christian. I'm anti-Christianity. Oh, really? She says big difference. I'm not anti-Christian. I'm anti-Christianity. Okay. See, I don't know the difference. I'm ignorant. I, I don't know. Kindness and compassion should be everybody's religion. I completely agree. And by the way, I have like roommate considers himself Christian. Best human being I've ever met. It's, I think we, I think it's, it's, I try to not look at people based off of religion, but based off of action, based off of intention. I'm Christian and still have the hell of Jacqueline. And yes, I can sit here and tell you that I, I believe I have no evidence. So I can say, you know, I'll sit here and tell you if I believe something, it's a bias because I have no evidence. I believe that 
you know, there was something named Jesus or Jesus or however the fuck you, Yahweh, however you want to pronounce it, that, you know, fucking walked around and probably had some, you know, super psychic abilities. I like to think he was half alien, because why the fuck not? Ancient aliens. Why not? It makes me happy. I have no evidence of this other than it brings me joy. <laughs> no fact behind it. I just think it's a fun concept. Jacqueline, I think, is saying she's not against people who believe in Christianity. Yes. I don't think Jacqueline is... Okay, I thank you, Kathy, for, for pointing that out. Ja Jacqueline, from my understanding of watching your videos, she has nothing against Christians at all. Like, people who say that they are Christians. She doesn't like... But she has issues with the religion itself, not the people who believe it. Agnostic? Yeah, I think I... Paulina, I think people have said I'm more agnostic. Because um, I... My personal feeling and my experiences are that there is something out there that is... It's, it's greater beyond all of us, but also us, and that is a guiding force that is helpful that I think because of the limited dimensions we have within our brains and the confines of the 3D dimensions we live on on this planet, we can't understand. Um, and there's all, you know, but I, do I have any evidence? <clears throat> nope. It's just a belief. There's no evidence though, so I can't sit here and say I'm right. It's just how I feel about things. Renee, I'm Wiccan. Right on. I have I have a lot of Wiccans and Pagans that, uh, that watch. Hi, Sarah Bear. How are you, girl? I see Sarah in here. I hope you're doing okay. Jesus was an alien. I hope so. Little, little hybrid happy walking around. Think about it. Remember, there was no sex. Alien implant. That would make me so happy. I love alien mysteries. I fucking love them. Travis, I believe in an afterlife, too. I don't think we die. I think we transform. But again, I don't have evidence. There's no science to back up what I'm saying. So don't take, don't, don't sit here and say, well, Joy said it. It must be true. I'm just a fucking sick asshole sitting on a floor with couch. But I could sit on this couch. I'm sitting on the floor. I always do this. Just trying to get better. So being a good, kind person is the main thing. I'm Christian, but cannot stand those that use Christianity anyway to hurt others. Kathy, thank you. Renee, hashtag Wiccan Pagan team. Yes, I love my Wiccan and Pagans. Anybody who has positive intention, fucking let's do it. I try to respect everyone. Some, something turns me off, such as anti-Christianity, but I can appreciate Jacqueline's work in other videos. I, I hear that. I hear that. And, and Princess Sarah, I, I, I love that. I respect that you respect everyone. That's awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to get off here. I've got to pee again, and I'm tired, so it's bedtime. It's probably just bedtime for me. So anyways, guys, much love. Thank you so much. I also want to say a big thank you, guys. Thank you for everybody who's been supporting me through this process. I could not have done this without all of you. And I know that probably sounds cheesy and like I'm sucking up. It is the absolute truth. I could not be going through this process if I didn't have um, the love and support from you guys. And every time you watched my video, it helped me get to the point where I could get the money to do what I'm doing right now. Jenny, uh, sorry if I upset you last night. That wasn't my intention. Sometimes I'm very misunderstood because my humor is different like yours. Jenny, I appreciate that. No problem. I'll unblock. Thank, thank you for saying that. I, I appreciate that. So, um... Uh, Kathy says, hit me up in the DM. And by the way, uh, Jenny, send me an email with your Twitter because I'll forget in 30 seconds. I'll forget. So send me an email to remind me because I don't want you to think that I said that and I'm lying. I'm just going to forget joy sparkle BS at Gmail. So, um, Oh, Alex, I love the F out of you. I do. Autumn says, I hope everyone is feeling good. I agree. So I wish you guys good health. Thank you so much for all of the kindness. Um, I, I could not have done this without you guys. And every time you clicked on a video, you helped me get to this point. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay, I'm happy. Um, okay, uh, uh, bye, Diana. I love you guys. Have a good night. Thank you for the support, and I'll keep you guys updated on what I find. Bye, guys. And fuck, there's another button.